everything works great it's a lot of fun don't forget we have a button as well too if you have a potty mouth Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the TC Helicon Go XLR. I did purchase this product myself, and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product and want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it comes packaged too in a very nice and simple retail box. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have your legal disclaimer followed by your quick start guide. That's very helpful. This guide walks you through all the product features with a quick explanation, as well as a connection diagram, depending on if you have a one or two PC setup. And they also show you at the bottom how to connect a Blue Yeti microphone to the Go XLR. You can also contact them online with their support handles. And then you can see the backside of it has some technical specifications for you in case you're looking at some of the system processing, power supply voltage, or the dimensions and weight of this item. You can seal that right from the quick start guide. Then you can see we have our USB cable right here to plug this end into our mixer and this end into our gaming or streaming computer. Then you can see we have our power supply and adapter right here. We do have to attach the US plug end right here, so go ahead just slide it right into place. You can always eject that and swap it out later if necessary. And last but not least, we have the Go XLR mixer itself right here. Check it out from the front. Look at how good everything looks right here. We do have a protective film that we need to remove. So look at that, very nice. Here it is from this side. Now you can see it from the other side and the other side right there. Here it is from the bottom with the TC Helicon logo and branding right there. You can see we have four feet at the bottom that give us a nice grip when we set this down on our desktop surface. Then we can see it from the back side, probably the most important side right here. You can see all of our different IO options right here. Now let's go ahead guys, let's really dive in. Let's go over all the individual controls and the ports on the back. So first up, let's look at the front of the Go XLR and really dive into all the different controls that they have to offer. So first up, you can see four windows right here. They call it the scribble strips. This is for naming your channels. Then you can see we have our channel faders right here, followed by our channel mute buttons right on the mixer. Then we have our voice FX presets right here, one through six, great buttons, easy to push and control right there. Then we have our voice FX controls so again presets then we have our controls to adjust reverb pitch echo and gender right here so we can do real time effects parameters which is pretty cool and then you can see on the right hand side we have a couple different options right here megaphone robot cartoon and fx so you can see those different buttons that we have they're true to their name so hard tune is going to tune your voice to the sound of your music or game and then the fx button turns off or on all of your voice effects right there. Then you can see we have our bleep button. Then we have our push to mute. This is great if you're gonna cough, sneeze, or something like that on stream. And they're very fun to push. They're kind of rubbery buttons, so that's great too. Um, then you can see down here, we have a couple more options. These are your sample pads. So we have four sample pads and our clear button right there. And it's clearly marked sampler for you effects so you can see that and then your mixer so it's segmented for you very easy to control everything and navigate this then you can see last but not least we have our sample bank marked a b and c for you now let's go ahead let's look at the back side and check out all of our inputs so you can see all of our inputs on the back side right here first up we got our xlr in then you can see we have it in blue our line in this is to input an audio device such as your phone a tablet a computer etc then you can see we have our mic input. This is for your headset microphone if you're gaming. Typically it's gonna be a pink connector. Then next up you can see we have our headphone connector right here. So this is our headphone output jack. It's in green. Then you can see we have our line out jack right here. This contains an exact copy of your broadcasting stream audio right here. So you can connect this to a dedicated streaming computer or other devices like speakers. Then we have our Kensington security lock right there. We have our USB connection to plug this into our gaming or streaming PC. We have optical audio for our console if we want to attach 
a gaming console to this to get the audio from it. Then you can see our DC in 12 volt adapter right there. So that's the IO on the back side of the Go XLR. Really quickly before we set everything up, let's go ahead, let's go over some of the connections with the helpful diagram that's provided in the quick start guide. So in the quick start guide, you can see the connection diagram. I just wanted to go over this in more detail because it's very, very helpful. You can get really creative with your streaming setup. You might have one or two PCs. You might be using console and a PC. So you gotta just figure out what works best for you and your needs. But they walk you through all the different options and configurations that you have right here. So obviously first up, an XLR studio microphone. Or you might be saying, well, hey David, I only have a USB microphone, I have the Blue Yeti mic, how do I go ahead and set that up? Well then you can look down here, they show you exactly how to do that because the Blue Yeti is a USB mic. Why you're able to actually use it with the Go XLR is because it has headphone monitoring. So if you have a USB microphone that also has a headphone jack on it that you can monitor it, you should be able to use it with the Go XLR like the Blue Yeti. So you're gonna plug that into your computer just to power the microphone, but you're actually gonna attach the headphone jack, your 3.5 millimeter audio cable from the Blue Yeti directly into the Go XLR mixer with the little microphone input port that they have that's in light pink for you. So that's Blue Yeti for you, Blue Yeti 101 USB microphones, as long as they have that headphone jack for monitoring that you can get the audio signal out, you can get it to the Go XLR. But back to the main setup, you can see studio mic, you can see all the devices we can add right there if we want, our gaming headset and microphone if we want directly into the Go XLR. Then you can see how we can connect it for the stream broadcast if we have a dedicated streaming PC. And you can see where we need to connect it if we have our gaming slash streaming PC right there. You can just plug it directly into your one computer. We also have our gaming console option for the optical audio. So very helpful guide. You can check that out. You can learn all about this and how to get everything configured for your needs right here. And then just looking at the ports on the back, you might need to pick up some extra cables as well too, but that will just depend on your setup. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. All right guys, so we're back with everything set up. This is raw unedited audio coming through the Go XLR with our main studio microphone. We're using a Rode NTG2 shotgun microphone plugged right in here. It does require phantom power and we are able to set that up within the Go XLR mixer, so I'll show you that really quick. We're also monitoring the audio right now too. This is really a solid mixer. It's very cool, very impressed so far. One of my favorite features, I just gotta show you it, is if I push the mute button, watch what happens to the slider automatically. Look at that. Down and they go back. See if we tweak the software too, they will adjust accordingly as well for us. So it's really cool, very easy to use, very easy to see everything. Really quick on the screen, you'll notice I have the Go XLR app downloaded. You will need to download it to set this up and to configure all the settings. It's a little bit overwhelming on everything that you can do, but TC Helicon has great videos out there to support you in fine tuning the settings. We're just gonna take a quick glance at the software today. So let's go ahead, let's dive right in. First up, you can see in the software we have our mic set up. It will walk you through some of this once you download the app and set it up for the first time. So in this case, you can choose the mic type, you can adjust the gain. You can see we can continue to adjust that gain higher if we need to. You wanna land in the good setting for the gain. So honestly, I could probably adjust this a little bit more to have it a little bit fuller of sound, but I'm gonna keep it at 45 for now. That's fine for what we're doing with this video, but dynamic condenser or 3.5 millimeter, you can adjust the gain and you can see the metering right there for you. Then once you have that set up, you'll be taken to this screen where you can see we kind of have three different segments right here. So let's start in the top left hand side. You can see all the profile options by default that we have. You can see our sample options right here. We had any to upload and use and our presets as well. Same thing, we have this little file icon so we can open the folder if we wanted to add or save new ones. We can do that right from our computer. So that's the first quadrant or section then you can see we have our actual mixer right here. We can see everything that's going on if we're not actually physically at the mixer, because you can see as I'm messing, pushing certain keys and buttons, we get a real time view of it right there digitally for us on our screen, which is great. Then the section we're gonna spend the most time, this bottom quadrant, you can see we have our mic settings right here. I'm not gonna explain all this. There's plenty of videos out there 
that can walk you through it. And it's gonna be very microphone and case by case specific for your studio and everything else. But you can see we have our gate settings right here. We can expand that if you wanna get really picky and really make fine tune adjustments. Same with the equalizer, check that out. We can really adjust those if we want. Compressor settings, we can expand that too. And then we have our de -er as well, so we can change all those for our microphone. Then you can see we have our mixer settings right here. So you can see our different channels and our sources. So this is where we can choose our channel and source. What do you want? I'm very happy with the default for now, mic, music, voice chat, and system, but you can fine tune those settings right there. Then you can choose your mute options. What happens when you push the mute button? You wanna mute everything, or you have specific use cases right there. And then don't forget the mixer adjustments right here. So we only show four channels right there, but look at all the channel options that we actually have so we can adjust the volume right here too, if it's not one of the four that you're using with the Go XLR on the actual device itself. And then there's our headphone level adjustment too. So we have those different options. We can configure the lighting at this point too. If you wanna to do custom lights, you can see the profile of how we have it set up by default. And I'm very happy with that, but we can get um, really picky with our settings and fine tune everything right here on the screen, which is really nice, really cool. Great option to have, a lot of customization. And then you can see those change in real time as we slide them. Or what's fun, say I wanna adjust the music right here, watch the slider from the overhead camera as the button moves on its own. Got a little magic right there for you. But that's really cool, very nice. Then we jump to our effects tab. So you can see depending on the profile you have selected, you'll have certain presets right here. So you can see we have six presets that correspond with the six buttons on the Go XLR. And then you can see our four adjustments, reverb, pitch, echo, and gender right here. So there's so many different options. You can really choose whatever you want. You're just gonna spend some time playing around with it, getting the right sounds for what you're trying to do. But there's our individual controls again. You can manually adjust them right here if you want, or you can use the actual knobs on the Go XLR. So you can see we have six presets. You can choose the preset you want, then you can make your adjustments right here. Then we go all the way over. You can see then we have megaphone, robot, and hard tune as well. That's gonna be your buttons on the side. So we can use those right here too. And then we have our FX button. Don't forget that's gonna activate this so we can actually turn everything on. So we'll do that in a second. Then you can see we have our sampler settings right here too. Don't forget we have three banks, A, B, and C, with four buttons for each of them, and then our clear button. And then uh, next to that we have our bleep and our mic mute if you're gonna sneeze, cough, that sort of thing. So that's a quick look at some of the settings. Now we can look at our routing settings. This is important as you manage your inputs for your stream. You gotta figure out where you want all of the different sources and inputs to be routed to, where do you want them to go from an output standpoint? So this is where you're gonna change these to get it exactly how you need it to be. Very easy guys, just click and click again. So there you go. And then we have system settings. You can see mic setup, tutorials, help and support, software updates. We have a lot of different options right here. Global settings, analytics, third-party info about Go XLR. So same thing, here's lighting again. Don't forget, we always have that option. So you can change the lighting. This is just a quick look at the app. There are so many things you can change. On that note, I wanna point out to you guys, it's very important on your Windows PC to really understand, well, how do I actually get my music or my voice chat you know, linked up and, and chosen as one of those four inputs? So wherever you're playing your music from, Spotify, that sort of thing, you're gonna have to do some system changes here within um, Windows. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick there's a lot of different options right here. So because we have it plugged in, each of the individual channels shows up and you can choose it accordingly within Windows. So look at all the options. So what are you trying to do? Trying to split, play some Spotify music? Well, make sure then you choose the music option for your Go XLR or um, within Windows settings. You can manage the sound devices. We have our app volume and settings right here. So again, we could choose some of these. Oh, OBS, I want it to be X, Y, or Z, I want it to be sample. You could choose that if you wanted. Just for example, that's just what you need to do. So if you have Spotify up here, you can change that right here. 
and that's how you're going to make it be that music tab that you can control it. Obviously, Discord for your voice chat, you can change those settings within Discord. So that's a quick look at the app. Now let's go ahead, let's have a little bit of fun and let's play around with some of the effects that we have. So for trying out the effects, don't forget we have six presets. We're gonna use preset one right now. And then to activate them, you have to actually push the FX button. You can see it lights up. And now we can actually start messing with our voice and our audio. In this case, why it sounds the same, whether I have it on or off is because I have all my settings to zero. So nothing's being adjusted right here. First up, let's go ahead. We can just tweak the reverb. So here's the reverb. We have it all the way right there. Now we're gonna bring it all the way back down. Now we can adjust our pitch right here. And then we can bring that all the way back down. It's just fun. It sounds like I'm um, in a hostage situation and I've received a phone call and I only have 24 hours to get the money to the park to leave the duffel bag under the bench. So I love the pitch one. That's pretty cool. Then we have our echo. Echo. That's great. And then we have the gender right here too. So that's the max adjustment for the gender one way. And then we can max it out for the gender the other way. So you can see, we can play around with that too. Try to fine tune everything right there. Now we have our three options on the right hand side. We have megaphone. Here's our megaphone. Currently the style is set to radio, but we have other styles within the app. We can change that too. Then we have robot. Again, we can adjust the robot settings as well too. But that is your robot. And then obviously we can tweak all of these. We could add echo with our robot. Or we could change the robot pitch. And we could bring it back. So that's pretty sweet. Then we have our last option. This is hard tune. This is the T-Pain effect. So we can give ourselves a little auto tuning. So that's the T-Pain effect. So that's pretty fun. And then we can adjust our pitch. And we can tweak everything with the Go XLR mixer and hard tune. So yeah, that's pretty fun. So yeah, we have a lot that we can do. Very cringe worthy, but it's also just a lot of fun to tweak everything here so we could add a little reverb maybe a little echo maybe we could bump the gender down a smidge change our pitch a little i don't want the echo at all there's a reverb and again we can do the t-pain effect with hard tune but yeah guys that's the effects just a quick look at them everything works great it's a lot of fun don't forget we have a button as well too if you have a potty mouth and you need to censor your streams there so it doesn't matter what you're doing or what you're saying. You could just do it whenever you want. So yeah, overall pretty sweet. And then we have the mute button too. So say you're going to and you can mute it. So done. Yeah. So just hold that the mute. So can't hear me. And then you have a button. So pretty cool. Yeah. Button's definitely one of my favorite things on this. That's going to be a lot of fun. I don't even swear. So it'll just be fun to use it anyway. So I'm thinking about you know, when I'm streaming and we just want to have some fun, mess with the people, that sort of thing. We can definitely entertain everybody with that button nonetheless. So overall, let me share with you guys my final thoughts. First, the Go XLR really is the top choice on the market today for streamers. This is made with streamers in mind, whether you're using a one PC or two PC setup. The hardware is solid. Everything looks great and works great and it integrates flawlessly with their app online. So the software is awesome as well. It's highly customizable so you can tweak it to your streaming needs and you can modify all the audio settings to really match and line up with your microphone and your studio space so you can get really clean, clear and crisp sounding audio. It can be a little bit overwhelming but there's plenty of tutorials out there online to help you tweak the audio to the settings that work best for your ears and your audience's ears. So a lot of fun to be had with this as well too, with our effects and our sampler options. Now, let me share with you guys some of the things I'd like to see improved in the future. This isn't coming so much from a streaming mindset as it is coming from a content creator's mindset. But if you guys have been around Digital David for a while, you know that I stream product reviews and I record on-demand videos like you're watching right here. So when I record on-demand videos, I actually use my Rodecaster Pro and I love that thing. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. So 
My experience with that has influenced my feelings towards the Go XLR. So the things I wanna see improve from the Go XLR are features I wanna take from the Rodecaster Pro to bring over here. Now, they're not apples to apples devices. Like I said, one is made 100% for streaming. The other one is made for podcasting. I'm content creating, which could be considered podcasting, but I'm actually not creating a podcast. I'm just using it to route my audio. So that being said, with the Go XLR, I would love to see additional XLR inputs on the back. Two would be the minimum I'd wanna see. Four would be fantastic. So I'd love to see that. Obviously the footprint would change, so we'd have to make the physical Go XLR 2.0 bigger, but that's fine, it doesn't bother me. The size is compact and small anyway, so there's plenty of room to expand that out in my own personal opinion. With that being said, for the mixer, I'd love to have four more mixing options right here too, so expand that out double that so we can set all eight and adjust them really quickly in real time. And the last feature I wanna see, I really feel like this could help streamers too, depending on your use cases, but having Bluetooth inputs as well would be really cool. So you could connect your phone with Bluetooth. You could do a lot with Bluetooth connectivity built right into the Go XLR. That'd be really cool. I love having that feature with my Rodecaster Pro. So if Go XLR ever adds more XLR inputs, and Bluetooth, they're gonna crush Rode, especially if they can keep it around its current price point. So overall, definitely a solid choice for streamers if you're looking for an audio mixer. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.